What's up, everybody? This your boy, Nick, coming at you one more time with this uh, knowledge, man. I'm trying to hit y'all with a little bit of information today that's going to set the record straight. You know what I mean? A lot of these motherfuckers out here are lost, and they don't understand, man. They don't even know. They don't even really care, man. They just want to go out here and promote what they think is right. Now, you got a lot of folks out here, man, that don't understand half the shit that's going on. A lot of y'all are up to speed, and y'all know, man, we didn't come from Africa. So, it's a lot of shit out here that people are using to try to disprove that. Now, archaeology shows it. Geology, um, all of the uh, history that we got with documentation, oral history, all of it proves that we didn't come from Africa. Now, we, have, we are able to prove to them beyond a reasonable doubt that we didn't come from Africa. But then they got this trick up their sleeve that they always want to throw out there. And it's always our people that want to throw it out there. Oh, DNA, man, DNA. DNA is the one that got us, that, 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 that proves that we came from Africa. That's what proves it. You got to go into the DNA. You ain't shit without DNA. Okay. Well, we finna blow that shit up out the water. I guarantee you that. The thing about this, man, all right. I started doing research on DNA because I was I was tired of hearing people trying to use that as an excuse. Now, I understand DNA, so I thought. I had an uh, understanding of it. But even when I had my understanding, I was very skeptical of it. I always had it in the back of my head like, man, what? how, how the hell we know that this is true? But the thing is, man, I went on into it and said, man, I'm going to dive in here first and I'm going to go in and see for my damn self. Because there's a lot of niggas out here, like I say, they want to use that. And a lot of these Europeans want to use that shit. They want to try to be like, well, DNA analysis shows that um, after we've looked at our DNA analysis, we can safely say that uh, whatever the fuck we want to say, basically. Because y'all going to believe it. That's all they're trying to tell you. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of uh, DNA. It started out in 1969 when the first helix was found. 1960s. I can't remember the hard date, but it was in the 60s. By this dude named James Watson and uh, Francis Crick. These two Cambridge scholars was out there studying other people's work about what they knew about cells. And based off of what they thought them people said about cells, they came up with the idea of a DNA helix. But yet, they would try to give another man credit for it. Now, this is how stupid these folks is. They'd be like, oh, this guy founded the DNA helix but didn't know it. Now, this dude named Francis uh, Meischer, he from Germany or Russia or something like that. Now, this motherfucker was basically a doctor, and he had a microscope. So, he was treating one of his patients, and after looking at some of the uh, old bandages, bandages that he had, they was full of pus. So, he took some of the pus, put it on the slide, and examined it under the microscope. Well, when he seen it under the microscope, he was just like, man, this shit look more complex than what it looked from the outside. So, then he started uh, looking at it. And basically, the more that he looked at it, he seen that they had individual block-like structures all along it that made up what they uh, made it up, you know. And uh, so basically, he uh, said that this was similar to some of the uh, cell blocks that they had at the mosque, uh, some type of um, place that they worshipped. Um, so he was like, man, he named them a fucking cell. He was just like, well, these look like cells, there, so we're going to call them the cell. And that's where the shit started at, okay? So from then on, you got from him to James Watson and Francis Creek, all the way in 1960, uh, 1960s, all right? It's 100 years went by. So I started looking and saying, well, 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 damn, there must be some type of fascinating information that came about for these people to come up to jump from push to a fucking double helix, you know? This dude didn't see no double helix. The only thing he seen was fucking blocks. That's it. He just seen enough to see blocks, okay? So 100 years went by, man, just about. So I was like, well, what kind of research went in there? You're going to find hardly nothing. But basically what they did was uh, they just went in there and started making labels, making names of these little different things, like the cell wall and stuff like that. They could see that it had a wall and it had different blocks. So they was able to go in there and start naming the little different things that they see going on inside of them. So that right there created a whole science for them right there. They can use these big-ass fucking words that people can't even hardly say or spell. And that right there would take them a, damn, uh, a half a fucking week to learn that in its own. So now you have a fucking class that you can teach about sales. But it don't really make sense. It don't really add up. It don't exist. But now you got a fucking class. Okay? So these folks have taken all of this information that they have found about what these other folks found, they just was making up and labeling stuff. They didn't, they, they couldn't see shit. You know what I mean? You're going to see in a second when I show you the information about the microscopes and, and what information that they got, they, they, um, availability to be able to see. You know what I mean? I'm going to let you see that in a second. But basically, these two were studying other people's history and other people's work. And after they did it, they were some Cambridge scholars now, let me tell you. These folks said, hey, man, you know what? They came up with this theory. Okay. Now, first of all, like I was, uh, forgot to tell you. 
everything revolving around cells are a theory. And that's what they first off and foremost tell you, that this is the theory of cell evolution. This is the theory of cells. But y'all don't understand that. Y'all already jumped to atoms, protons, neutrons, electrons, and would use all that shit and put energy and time and effort into this shit that they have created. So how much power are you giving your oppressor? You're giving your oppressor more power than you have because you don't have no power. You're giving them the fucking power because they have made perception their power. Which ain't nothing but deceit. All they're doing is deceiving your ass into believing something that ain't real. But y'all motherfuckers are so stupid and small-minded, you don't try. Our people are damaged. And we have been damaged by these oppressors. These same people that's out here trying to teach us shit are the same ones that y'all are going to to try to get answers from. Well, let me tell you, man, like I try to tell these folks, I'm here to tear them motherfuckers down because I don't goddamn play that. I'm not finna sit here, man. I don't play that shit where I don't understand. You know what I mean? If you ain't finna tell me some shit I don't understand, I don't understand how y'all don't understand. Why y'all don't want to understand? Like, for real, for real, y'all niggas need to grow up. But the thing is, man, like I said, I'm going to get back on this DNA. So it all started back in the 1960s with these two motherfuckers, and then they gave him credit. They said, oh, this man found it. He just didn't know it yet. You know what I mean? Hell, the motherfucker didn't find nothing. He found some fucking puss. So basically, 100 years go by, these folks come up with the double helix. It says it has these, uh, wasn't it? They looked at a chromosome, which they can see. They got them said that it has a double helix, and it has different uh, bar-like structures that make up all these genetic codes and shit. So they basically making this shit up. Now, this is where it gets interesting now. So this motherfucker tells you that there's a double helix. He didn't see one. They theorized it. They said what they thought it looked like. Drew, draw a little drawing. Why is it that all our 3D images look exactly like the drawing that these fuckers came up with? Now, all of a sudden, we got the information and technology to see one. So I thought, y'all going to find that shit very ironic. But the thing is, man, is we got the technology to see one now. How is it that these motherfuckers got it so correct? Wow, that was amazing. Damn, they smart. Or, or is they? Well, the thing is, man, this is what you got to understand. So I started digging into it a little bit more. And they was telling us, they was like, hey, man, based off of science and the scientific community, they say that a DNA helix is two nanometers in width. Two nanometers in width. That means it's two of these, four of these, six of these. You see that? That's bigger, right? So um, basically... 2016, about to be 2017, and the strongest electron microscope that we have right now, actually, when I seen the uh, article that I was reading, it was saying that it's in development. It hadn't been developed yet. But the strongest one that they have right now is able to see things that are 20 nanometers in width. 20, okay? Now, if you got something that is 2 nanometers in width, and you can only see 20, then how the hell did you see the fucking 2? How can you study DNA? Where's all of this evidence coming from? Where's all this information coming from? Now, I'm going to show y'all this little clip, man, and, and this dude basically show y'all what they try to show y'all. He's going to show y'all the strongest microscope that they got and what they are able to see. Now, you be the judge, and you tell me where these fucking DNA helixes is and all this shit is at. See, y'all don't understand that these motherfuckers are lied to you. That's all they have done. From the start, they started off lying, and they ain't going to do nothing but keep on lying. And the more that you accept their lies, the more that they can create. They can create this shit all day because they're making it up. Just like they tell you about space, oh, it's infinite. The possibilities are infinite. Because it's infinite because they got them making them up. Yeah, it's infinite. They can, they can, as long as they can keep making shit up, it's infinite. But y'all motherfuckers ain't sitting here trying to tell nothing down or understand shit. But like I said, man, the thing is that these fuckers started off with nothing. And now they done ended with nothing. But in the last 30 to 40 years, they have made a whole science out of this shit. Now they are teaching this shit in classes. And now they've made a whole fucking religion out of it, man. Because y'all don't understand. This is pseudoscience. This is not real science. Empirical science are things that you can touch, taste, see, and feel. And you know that they exist. Like this right here. This is metal. I can touch it. I can see it. If I want to, I can taste it. I know it's fucking real. It's real. You know what I mean? Now, I can sit here and tell you, make some shit up and make it sound good as fuck, but it's nothing but a theory and it's nothing but a lie. So at the end of the day, man, y'all folks really need to go back and do this research on DNA, man, because a lot of these folks going to try to use that to try to tear you down, but you just need to let them know, man, that it's a damn lie. Now, I'm going to let y'all watch a couple of um, minutes of this video. I'm going to try to let you watch the whole thing. I don't know how much time I got on my phone, man, but... um. Y'all, you know, share this video, man. Get this information out there. Put this shit out there. Let these folks know. The only way we're going to beat them is to let them know that we can beat them. Now, we are we are not broke. Like I told my homeboy, man, we got a lot of fucking finances. We got a lot of resources. Fuck finances because money ain't shit. 
What you really need is resources. You need shit that can make money. Because the thing is, man, is if we was to put all our shit together, we the strongest people in the world. But we are so broken and disconnected because we're using stupid shit like this. Stupid shit like these people to tell us what's right and what's wrong. But let me let y'all watch this video for a second, man, because it's very interesting, man. I think y'all going to get a lot out of it. Um, It's a white dude, man. I got, I got some brothers that don't want to listen to white folk, but they don't understand that niggas are dressed in sheep's clothing. They got the government go to these sucker niggas that they know are looking for fans, looking for money, looking for prosperity. Don't give a fuck about you. They go to these types of niggas and get them to put out the message that they want you to put out. The real niggas like me, we not going to make it. You know what I mean? I'm going to be here, but my message ain't going to get delivered like that. It's up to y'all to go do it. And that's why I hope for us to all grow together. We don't need a leader that can be chopped off. We need a civilization that can be uplifted. A whole people that can be uplifted. You know what I mean? But let me let y'all watch this video, man, because this shit is very interesting. Y'all going to see right off the rip what I'm talking about, man. And it, now, now, this dude, man, I went, like I said, I went behind this shit and did a lot of research. But, you know, he echoing a lot of good information, man. But y'all just check this shit out for a second. Oh, my bad, man. I thought I was goddamn finna do some little, some little smart shit, man. But I guess I'm going to have to click it. Scientists prove evolution wrong documentary online. See that? They were showing a computer animation of DNA. Look at all that, that uh, deoxyribonucleic acid. Computer animation. They're not showing actually how it works. Yeah, y'all don't They're understand what this I shit is. I think it works. Okay, so all their little experiments. This is, this is them now that's cell cells. mitosis, man. This they can see mitosis. Divide, okay. I don't know what they actually are doing. I uh, I don't know, the and they don't know. Scientists, uh, they party on the weekends. So I mean, who are these people? Scientists that you trust? They just stare at these things and watch cells multiply. What are they actually doing? They can see pieces of cell. You can't see the DNA in there. That's what they can okay. see, y'all. You can see pieces of cell, and you know, to a biologist, it might sound stupid, but I mean, I'm not that. You must think that I'm stupid. Oh, there you go. Look at that DNA. Look at now. that DNA. Here, 28 of November, 28. That's true. DNA that's image seven. with electron microscope uh, for the first the time now. This was the first time they ever seen a DNA strand. But yet they done made a whole science out of it, y'all. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven. That's the five sevens. Or, uh, that's a, that's a seven, and then that's a two, nine, plus eight, seventeen. So, I don't really know if that's the first day. Maybe it was a little sooner, but this is like what they give you. Okay? Okay, they say this is what they give you a line and then a zoom in, and it looks like a, a rod. Uh, but there is nothing here that you can see anything. Just a squiggly line. Okay? Not at all what they are showing to be like. Uh, uh, what they, what you think DNA was, what you've always been brainwashed to believe in it in, and I was brainwashed in it too. Me too. But, uh, this just doesn't look real. What is this? What are these deep holes in here? And is this the DNA that they're talking about? Say, it's resting a silicon bed of nails. First glimpse. The viral birth of DNA. Okay, and then it says um, the structure DNA was originally discovered. I just want to pause that for a second, right quick, man. Get this dude uh, information tonight. If y'all want to watch this whole video, go on here and check this man out, man, because, uh, you know. Like I said, man, I done done this research on my own, and I, I seem to find what he had found. And, I mean, we found the same exact thing, man. It ain't no, ain't no need to sit up here and try to 
go around that shit like it ain't nothing. But, you know, me and him found the same shit, and that's what it is. It is what it is, bro, but, you know, y'all go ahead and uh, I'm going to include this in the description down below, man, so uh, y'all will be able to get his link, too. But uh, y'all just go ahead and check this shit out, man, because, I mean, it's worth it. Using x-ray crystallography. This involves x-ray scattering of atoms in crystallized arrays of DNA to form a complex pattern of dots on a photographic film. Interpreting the images requires complex mathematics to figure out what crystal structure could... Notice that they say it requires complex mathematics complex how complex so complex that you will never figure them out because it ain't real would give rise to the observed patterns right now you heard that they just basically said i'm gonna take it back so y'all can hear because i'm talking but basically man he just said that uh you have to have strong mathematics in order to be able to look at numbers and observe a complex pattern that might form out of the crystal structures it will give you patterns that you, little dots that you will be able to analyze and come up with some type, type of theory off of, basically. Mathematics to figure out what crystal structure could give rise to the could give. patterns. Could give. Okay, there's so many things wrong with that, okay? Dots on photographic film, atoms, okay? The nuclear atom doesn't exist. Sure doesn't. Um, mathematics. Complex mathematics. Okay? I read proved that mathematics is an invention of the human mind. It sure is. Okay? To serve humans. Yep. It doesn't exist in nature. Okay? So... Sure doesn't. This is just a ridiculous hoax. And both evolutionists and creationists argue about the origin of DNA. And it's all a racket. It doesn't matter. Okay? There's no such thing. There's Early no life such a thing. a system of upgrade about four billion years ago. This is this is not this has never happened. Okay, this is a uh, what a, a picture of a hot spring and it's saying that's what it looked like. Yeah, and then they make you pay for it. Oh, you have to actually, you know, have to actually pay to see what they say. Go Fuck figure. that shit. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start that video right now, man, because I gotta uh, actually uh, get ready to. Head to work, man. But like I told y'all, man, y'all need to go out here and look at this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, these folks are really playing with your time. They playing with your energy. And they playing with your mind. See, they done destroyed our mind, man. Now, we got a lot of things that we got to try to backtrack on and catch up on. But the first thing that we got to do is we got to start opening up our mind and start receiving some of this information. Stop hating on your brother when they trying to show you some love. People think that a nigga is hating on somebody else. Like I was trying to tell somebody else, man, these folks would swear up and down, I hate Africa. The only thing I ever say is that we didn't come from Africa. That's it. I don't hate no African. I don't hate them people over there. They are our brothers. You know what I mean? But the thing about it is, is that I hate the fuckers that told you that you came from Africa. So people can't understand how I'm trying to tear down these Europeans and tear down their shit. Not these Africans. They ain't did shit to us. They fighting a fight just like us. They fighting against the same folks. I wouldn't be surprised if the motherfuckers over there telling them they from America. Shit, some of them actually are though. You know what I mean? But the thing is, man, like I said, y'all go out here, do this research, share this video as much as you can. Do, uh, you know, make your own, man. Do something. Let's start putting this shit together, man. Like, two plus two equals four. You can't have the whole side of the, of, of the story if you ain't got the other side. You can't have two halves if you ain't got two halves. So you got to know both sides, man. Like, y'all can't sit up in here and keep on talking about, um, talking about knowledge of uh, uh, teaching us something. If like this, if you are talking about us being from Africa, if you are talking about space, if you are talking about DNA, you ain't shit. You ain't shit but a European to me. You ain't shit but a motherfucking fool. Because all that shit don't exist unless you make it exist. The thing that really do exist is oppression. How our people are being fucked out of their land. That exists. I have seen my folks lose land. That exists. I have seen this shit happen. We can see this shit happening right on in front of us. Our own people getting tortured. But we don't care. Till the next time, man. I'm going to goddamn hit y'all. I got another video, man, that's going to kill some shit. You know what I mean? I got a video, man, um, that's going to come out, that's going to uh, gonna complement my uh, maps video that I made. Y'all going to see, man, but but when I give it to you, I'm going to drop it to you. It's going to be hot, man. But I'll I check y'all next time, man. Y'all boy. And girls be safe.
Holla at your boy, man. But, uh, you know, do the work, man. Until, until the next time, God bless you and be strong. Yep.